Hello family, this is Lee from Truly TV from Medellin, Colombia right now in the uh, Anti Antioquia. Okay. Antioquia uh, Barrio right now and I'm with my friend Luis and Luis has been very helpful to me while I've been in Colombia um, he's just made um, went out of his way to help me he even went to the exchange store with me walked in make sure that uh, people treated me right and took me to a few different places so that I could, I could get the best deal and um, I'm just really thankful to him and he has a very interesting story he actually lived in the United States for a while and speaks pretty good English very good English in fact and um, so this what a perfect opportunity to interview him and uh, get some more information on Colombia how you doing Luis hey how you doing Lee How's everything? <laughs> everything is perfect man everything is great you said you you stayed in the United States for a little while um, how long were you in the United States 35 years Wow. Yes. Uh, now I came back in 2010 to Colombia. 2010 in Colombia and you stayed in, in Houston and where else? Miami. Ah, Houston and Miami. What, did, what was your, um, your view of, of the United States? How did you like it? I love it, but uh, too much work. <laughs> Over <laughs> here in Colombia, you just take it more easy yes. than in the U.S. Yes, yes, that is very true. And that's one thing that I love about Colombia is that you can take it easy and uh, it's just a nice, easygoing atmosphere. So um, what types of things uh, are there to do out here in Colombia for people first coming for the first time? What things should they look to do? Well, first of all, uh, I will say there's too much a nightlife, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but interesting size to uh, go and see is the Metro Cable, mm. uh, El Pueblito Paisa, and uh, La Piedra del Peñol. There's plenty of more, but they're kind of far from the uh, from Medellin. But it's a bunch, bunch of stuff you can do here in Medellin. Yes, yes, those uh, uh, those are some exciting things to do. I, I've been to um, Yetis uh, Park, and uh, that was very nice. Um, I plan on going to the Metro Cable uh, later on this week. And also, um, I heard about uh, Guatape, the big rock that you told me about, Guatape. Yes, Guatape. Uh, yes, and that's about two hours away? Yes, it's about an hour and a half to two hours. And uh, to go up to the uh, rock, you gotta walk and then you gotta climb about 682 steps to get to the top. Right, I saw that. And, and, and if you, you can actually go a little further, I think it's up to 740, 740 steps if you yes. go to the very, very top. So uh, I plan to do that on Friday, in fact. And uh, it's a very beautiful, beautiful viewpoint. And I'll, I'll show you guys that when I go ahead and do that. Since I've been here, I've seen a lot of traffic. Is the traffic usually uh, this heavy? Yeah, well, usually it's on, on, on peak times, like mm. from 7 to 8.30 and from 4 to about 7 o'clock at night. Okay, so just like probably every major city, every major city, the traffic is like that. Uh, in fact, um, when we were uh, yesterday um, north, um, I went up north and I forget uh, w which town I was in, but the traffic was very heavy. Um, in Poloblado, I noticed the traffic is, is very heavy as, as well. But uh, it's very easy to get around and the transportation system is, is excellent here. Yes, this is, I mean, you can go by the metro and uh, it will be easier, but uh, sometimes it's too crowded, too crowded. Right, and, and with the metro, if you get one ticket, uh, you can use the metro all day. Is that true? Is that how it works? Yes, sir. You can, if you don't get out of the system, you can use it all day and uh, you can get on the metro cables too without, without paying any extra money. Perfect, perfect. So if you come and you get into the kill system, kiln system, then, uh, or is it till system, then, um, you can go ahead and travel throughout the metro system all day as long as you don't leave the metro system and that does include the uh, cables and whatnot. Um, 
and it costs only like a dollar to get into the metro system. Wow, only one dollar to get into the metro system. And then from there, you can travel around all day. That's a, a great price, a great opportunity. I've also noticed that, uh, well, everything ar around here is much cheaper than it is in the U.S., about three times less, I would think, uh, than it is in the U.S. I've, I've been out and had some nice meals, and pretty much for my uh, meals at a local restaurant are only about three dollars and fifty cents maybe four dollars American as you travel to the more um, expensive. expensive places then it, it cost you around ten bucks or something like that you know maybe for a meal um, I even had some tequila uh, last night and I think uh, that, that was uh, uh, today's a meal how much is that, uh, that was a meal. it's like five dollars Wow five dollars for a double shot of tequila not bad <laughs> so you can get drunk, drunk cheaper here in Colombia <laughs> than in the US. <laughs> yes, and that, uh, that, that's perfect for relieving the stress. <laughs> so um, everyone out here has been so kind and, and so uh, helping and beautiful. Is that the nature of, of Colombian people? Are they always so kind? Yes, sir. We're always kind and we want the, um, the guys that come and visit us to feel good in Medellin, even that over here Everybody has to be careful because there's some bad places, but uh, usually you won't have any problems here in Medellin. Every single major city on the planet, you're going to have uh, some people who are not going to want to do th good things. And so that's not uncommon. But I mean, I feel very safe here. This is my first time. I, I haven't had any problems. Everyone's been very nice. And it's been great meeting someone like you uh, to help me and kind of show me around and, and um, show me the ropes while I'm here. So I really appreciate that. So Finsky, Kesteni, Obi.